is why see right here on this engine this has something called cool tin they're underneath cylinder head it's basically type 3 engine cooling tin okay but they call it cool tin and why but the question is why would Volkswagen tell people that this doesn't work and not to put it on their cars because it makes it run hotter and I think I have a theory on this um, because I have personally tested this stuff these cool tin things all it does is have a metered hole you can't see it behind the push rods up in there and normally they have a little deflector shield and uh, this one has the cool tin and it has two metered holes on there underneath the cylinders and what it does it does is it diverts uh, it meters the hole going through the cylinders so that there's no wasted air and diverts and puts more air through the cylinder head so uh, the theory of that 100 percent can't be beat okay why do they use them on aircraft why do they use them on Porsches why do they use them on type threes if they don't work but also in the same respects why would Volkswagen send out a TSB saying that they don't work and I'm gonna tell you why my theory is that they did that because this bus right here will go I have tested this stuff I've tested it back in the 80s I use it now because it works okay back in the 80s our shop tested this cool tin stuff we were getting I don't even remember exactly the numbers but it was between somewhere between 5 and 15 uh, uh, 5 and 15 degrees at least minimum difference in cooling for the engine so why would they send out a TSB that says in 1970 that said that this doesn't work there's a couple different theories on this one of the theories is is I think that the dealer was saying hey we can put type 3 cooling tin on your engine it'll make it run cooler oh wow well, go ahead and do that and then somebody would go well fuck I can just drive my car 80 now I can go fucking 90 I can go as fast as I want my V-dub I'm not gonna worry about the engine overheating so they'd overheat the damn engine they take it back to the dealer and the dealer would go hey uh, you know you burn the engine up well you told me this will run cooler okay so that's the kind of crap that happens so the dealer sent out R&D costs money. So folks, what do you think Volkswagen actually R&D'd the cool tin and, and figured out whether it's really going to run cooler on a, on a Type 1 or Type 2 than it, than it does uh, than the stock factory tin? Hell no, they're not going to spend that money. They're not going to spend all that money doing that, doing that R&D. So they just sent out a bullet and said, hey, this stuff runs hotter than the original tin. It, oh, oh God. Um, you know, so we better not put that on anymore and, you know, and ban the dealerships from putting it on people's cars. So that's my theory in it. That's what I think. There are a couple other theories. I'll go over those real quick. The other theory is, well, back in, at that time, we had leaded fuel. We had, um, we had, uh, and, and like I said, I know for sure this stuff works. Okay. There's no reason why metering the air going through the cylinders and diverting it to the thing that causes the most temperature, which is your cylinder head, your fire is in your cylinder head. So the cylinder is just the piston going up and down. The combustion happens in the cylinder head. Most of the heat is in the cylinder head. Less heat is in the cylinder. So diverting the air and putting metering them out that going through the cylinder and putting more through the head makes absolute engineering sense. There's no, no way to deny that that would work. Okay, so, so yeah, I want you to think about this. This is the other theory I have. Back then, in 1970, we had leaded fuel. We had leaded fuel. We had fuel with a lot better octane. We had quicker burning fuel. There was cars with 11 to 1 factory compression ratio, um, back in the 1970 um, you know in some of the bigger cars the fuels were better okay so there was no need to put additional cooling on your Volkswagen we didn't you know today it's a different story we have you know now we have like alcohol in our fuel we have um, you know all these stupid additives they put in EC1 you guys who run 
Arco, and that's basically alcohol. So more alcohol, and uh, that makes your car run leaner, richer, you know, leaner. So you got to richen up your main jet even more. Um, so the uh, you know you, the thing is, it's different now. Okay, it, you change, take the lead out of fuel. We ran into in the eighties. The uh, the thing we ran into is we were running into you know detonation problems. Everything you could, we ran our timing retarded. We ran lower compression. And people would still run their engines hot and, and ruin them. So putting cool tin on the engines was the answer. It worked. It was it was some of the, especially the modified engines, all the stock ones we usually ran the the uh, the regular, you know, diverter tin, the little little plates underneath, you know, those little pieces of garbage. But and that was because, you know, it was there wasn't very much performance going through them. We were always telling people, "Hey, you got to use premium fuel, you you know, and and you know to stay away from Marco, and you know some of those things." But um, you know, the thing that we ran into is is using premium fuel and, and low compression. We used to we used to run the engines at seven, I think seven to seven point five to one. It's really low compression on a sixteen hundred. They were piggy and slow compared to the old ones back in the 50s and, or 60s and 70s you know they were they had much more compression in the early days so look you know that's my theory is that things changed as well so so let's say that for some reason in the 70s it didn't work it didn't actually cool the engine more than the other 10 highly unlikely but let's just say it didn't work so I know in the 80s we tested it it did so maybe it was the difference in fuel now caused more cylinder head temperature heat and it actually benefits you to have the lower cylinder head temperature I don't know but I do know that it does work and we've tested it and there's you know the whole theory behind it says that it'll work I mean there's nothing about you know, cylinders don't get hot. It not well. It gets hotter. The heads of the cylinders, everywhere you go, you look at racing everywhere. They're worried about head temp, head temp, head temp everywhere. Everybody wants to know about head temp for any engine. So it's you know the cylinder head has to get the best cooling, and that product does it. So anyway, those of you who believe that it doesn't work, you know, whatever, just run the stock stuff and burn up motors and. You know, someday maybe you'll try it and you'll find out that, you know, put a cylinder head temperature gauge on your car, run it before, put the stuff on, run it after, post the readings. Tell me that it doesn't work that way. You will never be able to do it because it does. Talk to you in the next video.